Thank you so much. It is such a privilege to be honored here tonight with such talented people as my fellow inductees. In the truest sense, it is all about our great state. What is this state we call Oklahoma? It is a geographic area of some 70,000 square miles, composed of rocks and trees and rivers and mountains. A land of great towns and cities, a land of great people, talented, enterprising, and hardworking, God-fearing people who less than 100 years ago celebrated the opening of a great state. We have come a long way since then, but in a very real sense, we have only just begun. I have been privileged to serve this state in many ways over these years. One area I would like for my name to be associated with water resource development. As I grew older, I realized that wealth and natural resources is the foundation for prosperity and a better way of life for people everywhere. I have dedicated a large portion of my life to water development, and I have had plenty of help. Dr. Lloyd Church of Wilberton, a man who looked beyond regionalism and worked for the betterment of the entire state. He comes to mind, as does General Jack Morris of the Army Corps of Engineers, project engineer who oversaw the construction of the Kerry McClellan Navigation System. Others are George Nye, who signed legislation creating the Water Development Revolving Fund and campaigned statewide for the passage of the Constitutional Amendment, which authorized its use. Senator Ray Giles, author of the legislation, and Bert Castleberry, the first executive director of Oklahoma Water, Inc. in Oklahoma City. Men like Stanley Draper and Dean McGee rise to the top of the list. They had the wisdom to know that great water projects are not built overnight. We have Lake Oberholzer, Lake Hafner, Lake Stanley Draper, and McGee Creek as a result of their vision. In Tulsa, Glade Kilpatrick and Colonel Francis Wilson are names revered in the Arkansas River Basin. The one thing all these men share in common was that they were visionaries who saw a need and made the plan and did the work. And when the time came, they passed the torch on to the next generation of leaders. I have been truly blessed with a full and fruitful life. My family has been a constant source of support, and especially my wife, Lou Kerr.